Hey everybody, what's going on? Today I'm gonna to teach you how to get your .json file with the Summoner's War exporter so that you can use the Summoner's War optimizer. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, it might sound like I'm speaking a different language, but this, this is a tool that's been around for many, many years and it is incredibly useful. Just about every single high-level player uses the Summoner's War optimizer. A lot of other players across mid-game. It's a very popular tool. It's been around since like 2015, 2016. It's been around for a while. And uh, before anybody asks or has concern, Com2S has never expressed any dissatisfaction with players using this. They've never banned anybody as far as I know. Nobody's ever been reprimanded. They're well aware it exists. They don't seem to care. Because you're not using software to modify the game. It's not playing the game for you. It's not an auto clicker. It's not changing anything in your account. It's simply making a copy of the data in your account and letting this optimizer access it so that you can organize it the way that you want to. You have really good access to your runes. You can find good builds for your monsters. You can speed tune it. There's a ton of things you can do with this tool. So it's very useful. There will be a follow-up video, at least one, going over the optimizer itself, talking about some things you can do with it, kind of an introduction. So if that interests you and you, you're going to want to do that, follow along with me in this video. We're going to get you set up. I'm going to teach you how to get your JSON file. And once you do the complicated part of this once, you're done. And then it's just a couple of clicks every time you need the updated JSON file moving forward. So again, I'm going to simplify this as much as possible. If you follow along with me click by click, when we're done, you'll be in good shape. Okay, so I'm going to put two links below. The first one is for the Summoner's War exporter. Another one is for Moo Moo Player. <clears throat> it's an emulator similar to BlueStacks. The reason we're using Moo Moo is because it eliminates several steps. It is it is much easier to do this with Moo Moo Player than some of the other emulators. So I would highly recommend that if you're going to follow along with me here, you download Moo Moo Player. Just take my word for it and use it. It's not an affiliate link. I'm not getting anything for you using the link. I have no affiliation with them in any way. I have no incentive to tell you that it's better <laughs> for this process. It, it is better for this process. Uh, I don't play on Moo Moo Player. I play on BlueStacks, but I use Moo Moo Player for this, and then I go back into BlueStacks. So, first, click the link for Summoner's War Exporter, and it's going to bring you to this page. If you're on Windows, you're going to be looking for this one, Summoner's War Exporter Setup 0.0.52-windows.exe. Uh, don't worry about portable. Don't do the block map. It's this one if you're on Windows. And then if you're on Mac, I assume it's this zip file, and then you'll just unzip it and be in the same situation. So download that. Get it installed. Done with that part. Then click the link for Moomoo. Right here, it's free download. You're going to download it, install it. Then I want you to install Summoner's War. And I want you to load up your Summoner's War account just so that you've logged in once, okay? So that next time you load up Summoner's War, it'll just take you straight to your account. And then close Summoner's War and then come back here. So pause the video, go do those things, and then come back here and we'll proceed together. All right, now that you've done that, you should have Summoner's War Exporter and it should look similar to this. And you should have Moomoo Player that should look like this with your Summoner's War instance in it, okay? From here... What we're going to do is you're going to click Get Cert, and it's going to cert certificate copied to this location. So if you like, you can just copy it and go there in your file explorer. I think it creates a Summoner's War Exporter Files folder on your desktop when you do this. If not, you can, again, just, just path to here. But either way, you're going to end up in this folder. That's for my uh, free-to-play, <laughs> so we'll get rid of that. Uh, and it's the folder's going to look like this, and then you're going to go into cert, and you're going to have ca.pem right here, okay? So you're going to right-click this and copy it. Yeah, there you go. Right-click and copy, okay? And then you can close this folder. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go over into Moomoo Moo Player, and down here along the bottom... There's a shared folder button, and this is part of what is eliminated using the other emulators. It is kind of hard to get to this folder in the other emulators. So in Moomoo Moo Player, it's as simple as that. You're going to open it up. It's probably going to be empty for you. You're going to right-click and paste, and it's going to drop that ca.pem file into the shared folder. Okay, And then you can close that out. From here, you're going to click System Apps, Settings. You're going to go down to security, and then you're going to go down to install from SD card. 
Now, if it gives you another list of folders, just find the one that's called dollar sign moo moo shared folder. Since I already have it, I think it defaulted me here. It might give you another list of folders. Just make sure you find the one that says dollar sign moo moo shared folder. Click it and then come in here and you should it should look like this. You should have ca.pem in here, okay? From here, you're gonna uh, long click. Or I'm sorry, that, that's not where we long click. You're just gonna click that and then name it whatever you want. It doesn't matter. And then for credential use, you wanna make sure that it's VPN and apps, okay? Make sure that it's VPN and apps. And then click OK. And then you can close settings because we we're going to go back in the settings, but it's a little bit faster if you just close them and reopen them. So reopen the settings. Go to Wi-Fi. And then on your network, you're gonna, this is where you're going to long click and go to Modify Network. You're going to make sure that proxy is set to manual. And then for proxy host name, in your top left corner of your Summers War exporter, you've got a number. Copy that number and put it in proxy host name. I'm blurring mine because I don't know if anything can be done with that number. <laughs> Maybe it needs to stay private. And then for proxy port over here, we're just going to change it to 8082, just, just not 8080. Some other things might use 8080. There could be a, a confusion sometimes. So just change it to 8082 and then in here also change it to 8082 and then click save. And now we can close our settings. Last thing we want to do is in the settings of Summoners War Exporter, you want to make sure that HTTPS mode is checked. And then we're going to come back up to logs. Now you're done. Now, now that's the complicated part of the process. From here, in the future, when, you, when you're ready to get your JSON file, you're going to click Start Proxy. And then you're going to load Summoners War. And what's going to happen is... As the data gets moved, I'll show you in, in here actually, as the data gets moved from you to the server, it's going to catch it and make a copy of it and create a .json file and put it in your Summoner's War exporter folder. So you'll see as that gets created. I don't remember which account of mine it's going to log into, but it'll log into one of them. And when it does, we have another update apparently which I'm pretty sure I checked that we didn't, but whatever. Anyway, so it's logging into my free-to-play over here, and this is it. This is my JSON file, so now I have it. And then in the future, when you, when you want to get an updated version, that's all you do. You're going to start proxy, load the game, log into your account, and then you can hit stop proxy because now the file's been created, and this is what we're going to import into the Summoner's War Optimizer, okay? So now you can close your folder, you can close Moomoo Moo Player, and you've, you've stopped your proxy. You can close Summoner's War Exporter now. It's done. And then, again, when you're ready to use the optimizer, we're going to take that JSON file, and that's what we're going to import. And then over time, let's say you're back in your account, you've leveled up some runes, you've done some more farming. Some things have changed, right? Your, your runes are different. You've pulled some new monsters. You just load up Summoner's War Exporter, click Start Proxy, load up Moomoo Player, load Summoner's War. It'll make that new JSON file. There's your new file, and that's what you're going to do every time you want to put your information into the optimizer to work with, okay? And that's it. It's uh, it, it seems a little complicated, but once you know it, it's not so bad, and when you're done, you're done, and it's a couple of clicks every time you need the updated version. So I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, drop them below or hop in my Discord. I, I or someone else will help you as we're able to, but hopefully this video is sufficient enough, and uh, that's it. We'll, we'll be back soon to talk about the optimizer and and how to really change your account with it because it's again it's a it's a crazy tool y'all are going to really enjoy it so that's it i'm out of here appreciate y'all later